The air buzzes with the sound of the tattoo machines. More than 150 artists gathered under one roof and a dazzling array of styles on display. Tattooing can be traced back thousands of years. This is cutting edge contemporary art. I mean, I always like to look back at how things were done and what inspired those trends or what was happening then to how can I make that into what I'm doing now. Um, just to try and change things up sometimes. Um, but yeah, I think, I think the approach now is more about art than a, a culture. Globally, attitudes towards body art depend largely on religious and cultural factors. For example, Judaism and Sunni Islam frown upon tattoos because of the teachings of Leviticus and the habits of the Prophet. But in Pacific Polynesia, it's almost a sacred art, a mark of rank and status, the passage from youth to adulthood. In the gallery area, Dale May's photographic portraits from Polynesian Tahiti epitomize the pride and spiritual strength which Pacific Islanders derive from traditional body art. 18th century sailors brought the practice to wider attention, but public attitudes toward tattoos remain complex. I come from Japan. In Japan, tattoo is kind of frowned upon for the ordinary people. So if you have a tattoo in Japan, it's like a, it's a big, big no-no. It still is. You had superstars tattooing in, uh, in London already in Victorian times with George Bouchette, you know, so um, I think ultimately I, things haven't changed that much. Every tattoo is unique to the person, but the trend now appears to be less about tribal heritage and more about cherry picking of different influences, ancient and modern. You know, whether you're having Star Wars or not, that's your own personal story. It doesn't have to be something as deep as your ancestry, but as long as it's something you're passionate about and you're you're kind of art collectors, but you're your own gallery. It's the artist and the design in itself. So I look for the artist and uh, who's doing it. So I'm really searching specific people. The appeal of body art now cuts across class and geographical boundaries. It's no longer just about counterculture. It's an expression of individuality. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera, East London.